What is the best way to recover and heal your muscles after a high intensity workout? Would a hot bath or a soak in a jacuzzi feature? Yeah, we uh, we do we do lots of things at the Rhinos uh, after a high intensity training session. Uh, it's more on the individual. Uh, some people like cold baths, some people like hot baths, uh, but we we pretty much tell them to do as much as they can. So we might do a little bit of stretching straight after on the pitch, and then we go into an ice cold bath uh, if you've got a jacuzzi available as well. So it's it's relaxing your muscles at the same time. It would benefit you greatly. How highly do you rate the hydrotherapy treatment delivered by Jacuzzi products? Yeah, the Jacuzzi products, uh, they're probably some of the best that I've seen. Uh, I've, I've seen a few uh, in my 10 years at the Rhinos, and I think these are some of, some of the best ones. They, uh, they really pinpoint the, the muscle areas that you need to work on while you're in the Jacuzzi. Having the, uh, the pinpoints onto your muscles while you are stretching in the water environment is probably the best recovery you can have. If they, if they concentrate on what's what's hurting the most and start there and then if they want to do an all over stretch of the body starting at the legs and finishing up at the top of the head and uh, holding it for 15-20 for seconds and do it each time twice on each body part I think that'll, that'll be a good stretch for them. What age did you start playing rugby league? Yeah, so I started when I was young, uh, I think I was about seven or eight, uh, you know, played about with, with friends from school and uh, you know, they used to play, so I you know, just went around with them and you know, really enjoyed, really enjoyed the game from a young age, and uh, yeah, got involved and been involved ever since. How do you find the training? Is it demanding, and do you enjoy it? Yeah, it's very demanding. Uh, it was such a fast-paced collision sport that you know, it takes a lot of, a lot out of your body, and um, you know, you've got to be durable in this game, and uh, you've got to look after it the right way. But uh, you have to train hard because the games are that intense that you need to be there. A great physical condition, so um, it was something that we enjoy and something that I enjoy, and uh, you know, pushing my body and pushing my mind and getting myself in the best possible shape I can. What's a typical game day like for you? Yeah, so, um, you know, pretty nervous really. Uh, you know, most of our games are played on a Friday night, so you, know, you have most of the day to try to prepare mentally and physically, so you know, making sure you're hydrated and getting some good food, and then uh, you know, just try to stay as relaxed as you can and you know, head to the game. and early evening and then you know, a couple of hours before the game you know, get to the stadium and um, you know, start to prepare with the lads then. Yeah, after every training session we, we try and get them in, into some sort of bath area and uh, do a little bit of movement stuff while they're in the bath area. If you've got one of these as I have behind us, it's, uh, it's really good to get in there and do some movement, a uh, few stretches, uh, a little bit of swimming just to relax the muscles and get the blood going around the body. Are there any specific stretches that you recommend the players do? Any injured players doing that? Yeah, I think if uh, if they if they concentrate on what's what's hurting the most and start there, and then if they want to do an all over stretch of the body, starting at the legs and finishing up at the top of the head, and uh, holding it for for 15, 20 seconds, and do it each time, twice on each body part, I think that that'll be a good stretch for them. How important are rest days for the players? Yeah, it's. Uh, it's funny really because uh, people think you go full time and you, you do more training and that sort of stuff. Going full time just means that you have you have better opportunity to rest the body. Uh, we, we very rarely after a match uh, they do some sort of rehab session after after games, we give them the day off after which they need to recover and get ready to go again on the Monday. We try and not do two days on the feet in a row but you've got to get them ready for the game so rest days are probably more important than some of the, uh, some of the skills that we do. Okay, thanks.